Hello everyone, Creative Inas here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we will create this technology slide which is very futuristic and if you see very closely we have incorporated a video in isometric design so this is basically an isometric style powerpoint slide and you can use it for artificial intelligence, big data, digital transformation etc. So before moving further let's watch this video. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. So what is Skillshare? It's a world of knowledge, skills and talent. You can learn new technologies here and upgrade your skills. On Skillshare you can find thousands of courses around different verticals like illustration, animation, web development to name a few. I create PowerPoint presentations but I also have an interest in photography. Here you can see lots of trending photographic courses you have to select the right photographic course for yourself. So I browse photographic courses, check their reviews, about section, popularity and most importantly the lesson plans. This helped me in narrowing down my search and find the right photographic course for me. So this is the photographic course that I have recently joined. Powerful Portrait Photographic Capturing Personality. Photography is all about storytelling and being able to tell through multiple images allows the viewer to learn something and not just be captured. The creator of this course is very professional and expert in his field which makes the course very interesting. I have completed few lessons as well. The lessons are very easy to understand and engaging. Skillshare is very affordable with less than $10 per month for an yearly subscription. I have mentioned a link in the video description which you can use to join the Skillshare. First thousand users will get two months free. For more information about Skillshare, check out the links in the video description. Now coming back to the tutorial, the very first step is to insert one of these smart arts and we are looking for an hexagonal smart art like this. So we have inserted it and we will use the already built hexagon shape just copy and paste here and increase its size so that we can play with it and let's fill the gradient color here and the gradient color that i've used is a combination of dark and light blue and this will give it a very bright look that's what we need here and you can play with the colors here to make it more bright or more dark Also you need to you know adjust the direction or angle and once you are satisfied with the overall tone of the color you can insert this rounded rectangle here and place it here aligned to the bottom of this hexagon shape and apply a fill gradient color on this shape as well but it should be opposite to the gradient fill that is present on the hexagon and now you see it is looking really nice and that's what we wanted actually we are creating an isometric design here so we will change its 3d rotation so select both of these go to the effects option and change their orientation just manually drag this rounded rectangle and place it here. Duplicate so that we can create multiple layers of shadows. Either you can fill some solid color or you can or you can increase the transparency like this and you will get a nice shadow effect. Now insert this triangle here, the right triangle and increase its width and slightly the height. Make sure the angle matches with one of the sides of hexagon like this. And in the background fill gradient color matching the hexagon. 
slightly adjust the gradient stops by moving the stops on the slider and try to change some colors so that the hexagon is visible and select all the components of hexagon bring them to front and place it somewhere on the border of this blue gradient and white so overall the idea is to create some kind of technology shapes and blue color always looks good if you want to showcase some technology slide like artificial intelligence big data analytics it and ot so all these things are you know connected to the blue color somehow now we again duplicated it and this time we kept only the outline and we have removed the fill so now we have got three layers of hexagons one is the shadow one is the main shape and third is this outline so these are perfectly stacked together slightly increase the width and we have filled gradient color in the outline so most of my time goes into like adjusting the colors and alignment which is very important because you want to make sure the main subject is highlighted and the attention is given to the right item on the presentation slide like it could be text or it could be this shape so I'm just experimenting with the background color here you can try and see what looks good again we have duplicated it and reduce its height and width so this is the fourth hexagonal layer and we have filled white color increased transparency now we have inserted the fifth layer and filled the gradient color So now you can see this shape is coming out really nice and increase the depth increase the depth of this main hexagon change the material change the lighting and you can find lots of options here you can try and test which one looks good to you I'm also trying to increase the width of this bevel shape but but I would recommend not to use it because it will not look good in this style of design So I'm trying to add some purple as well in the blue so so you can see now on the left side left bottom in the background purple is also looking good so the combination of this purple dark blue and this vibrant blue looks good now we need to put some screens here on which we want to play our video a technology video for that you need to insert this 
rectangular bar make sure it has it is close to 16 by 9 ratio either you can calculate or or you can just use some random size just duplicate it fill white color again duplicate it and paste increase the transparency so i have slightly increased the height of these three rectangular bars Now insert the video that you have downloaded. You can download videos from pexels.com. It's a website from where you can download images and videos for your use. Now what we want to do is we want to place the video here and we will animate it to run in loops so it will not stop once the video is over it will start over again and for that you have to apply the play animation and set it to repeat until the end of the slide and that's how you can do it make sure to start it with previous and it will run in loops now and it is pretty easy and i'm just testing it if it is starting over again and you can see the video is playing now automatically so now we need to change its perspective and for that you have to go to effects option and change its perspective and now all you have to do is place it and it is pretty easy you have to make sure the background is matching in terms of size with the video I think dark color is looking nice let's try the light color as well yeah it's also looking nice so now let's align the next two rectangles as well select all these and place it close to the technology shape that we have created Now insert the text box and now comes the part where you have to add the text and text is something which you should always focus focus on the text styling as well you should try to write things in different styles heading should have a different style then there comes the subheading it has its own value so it should be highlighted in a different way then there comes the description description should be short and crisp and it should have only important keywords then there can be a call to action some number some fact so you have to try and test different things because i've seen slides where they just put text like it's a word document no it's a visual representation of the things which is very important so powerpoint is an art and it's a visual storytelling so there you have to think many of you ask me what do I write every time in my video for this dummy text so it's um, it's an automated kind of word if you write equal to sign 
then you have to write l o r e m then the brackets and in the brackets you have to write the number like one two or three and it will auto generate the dummy text and the number represents the paragraphs if you write two so it will auto generate two paragraphs of dummy text so it saves time so that's why i use it so if you if you are liking this video so please hit the like button hit the subscribe button you can join the membership by pressing the join button then you can download this template as well from the g drive link i provided in the video description so but i would recommend first you should try it yourself then download the video then download the template so that will help you understand because my main motto is to help you guys learn the powerpoint skills so if you try it out and and you can share it with me as well so you can see the slide design is pretty much done let's do some more some more things here So I have duplicated the outline again and sent it to back and increased the transparency for one of the gradient stop and now you can see it's looking really nice and it looks phenomenal. So that's the kind of design. So that's the kind of design I love to create. So this is the end of this video i hope you like it so please subscribe to our channel join the membership and you can see that small video is still playing and you can change that video so we will see you guys in our next video keep enjoying our tutorials download the templates and thank you